Hello everybody and welcome to Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes. Here we are, after such a long, long hiatus. I've forgotten everything of the Metal Gear Solid series. It's just been such a long one and a half weeks, you know, like it's... It's unbelievable, you know, how long it's taken me to come back, but here we are, Metal Gear Solid 5. Um, I take a one, and a one and a half week break and everybody loses their minds, but it's fine because I'm back here again and ready for the ride. Uh, the last time I took a break was uh, in between Metal Gear Solid 2 and 3, and that was for like just under a month. So I think we're doing pretty good by coming back um, into, into the series already, and I want to. Trust me when I say I'm more keen to play this than uh, you are to watch this because I am so excited to see this beautiful man in this beautiful engine looking the way that he does look at this i want every single metal gear solid game to look like this you know i want to go back and see it like this and it would be absolutely incredible um but we have finished Peace Walker most recently and done a most recently as well a bridging episode between Peace Walker and Ground Zeroes where I was talking about this for quite a while of what we're going to do to link the two games together and that is the reason why we are going into Metal Gear Solid 5 next instead of uh, Metal Gear Rising because Rising is Rising is separate and all the way in the future and I can't wait to get there too but we need to I'm going to continue straight in with the timeline Peace Walker to Ground Zeroes, everything is a continuation, um, and we have some interesting things to think about. We've got Miller potentially being a double or triple agent of, him, of his own, uh, because he is also affiliated with Cypher, based on that phone call with, uh, with them with Zero, where he's talking about the sons of Big Boss that Big Boss himself does not even know about because of uh, the split between Zero and the boss. Um, it's it's crazy to think about. Um, I am unsure on the timeline, so I'm sure we'll get to how much later in the timeline this is. Um, I'm assuming it's probably... Peace Walker's 1974. I'm assuming this is probably taking place uh, it immediately, if not a few months later. Like, it, it really just feels like it's just a straight-up continuation, uh, which will be really cool. Um, I am also playing this on the PS5. Um, it has been mentioned to me that it's best to play Metal Gear Solid 5 on the PlayStation because Xbox, unfortunately, is not hitting that resolution. And even with the new consoles that have come out, they have decided uh, not to even give it the slightest bump. So it does run at a 1080p um, on PlayStation. I believe it got bumped up to 900 from 720 on Xbox. So I will take the crispier resolution on the PlayStation, which is actually quite a weird feeling because we've been playing most of our Metal Gear Solid games um, on Xbox, like Metal Gear Solid 2 and 3 um, and Peace Walker, most notably. But then I've also had Metal Gear Solid 5 sitting on the, the Xbox for ages, ready to play because I picked them up free with games with gold. And it was on sale on PlayStation for like $4. And I was like, okay, I'll buy it because it plays better on here, apparently. Um, because we played P we played Portable Ops on the PSP uh, emulator and Metal Gear Solid 4 on the PS3 and Metal Gear Solid 1 on the PS1 emulator. So mostly we've been with Xbox. But alas, here we are with Big Boss, Snake, ready to go into Ground Zeroes. So let's let's go straight in. I'm so I'm so fucking excited. Yes, that's just what I love to see. Uh, a network error has occurred. This is also the complete edition, so I have the option to launch the Phantom Pain uh, from the menu. Um, and because I've also been told as well um, that cassette tapes and briefing files you can listen to it on the go what i think is actually probably the best thing to do in that case is we will start the game we'll go straight into it we'll get the we'll get the introduction we'll see what's all going on and then we can take that time to listen to 
some cassette tapes or briefing files while we're while we're playing around. I, this is going to be a new game experience for me, so please do bear with me as I figure it out because it's going to be uh, completely different to any of the Metal Gear Solid games I've played before. I can already feel it just by putting it on modern consoles. I just know that there's going to be a whole like. A huge variety of things that I can get stuck into and figure out so it's going to be a bit of an experience as we work out these issues at the beginning but I'm so excited so let's get into the start of the game now and then we'll see where we go from there uh, mission ground zeros rescue mother base member Chico and high value target pus from a US naval prison facility and escape the mission area by chopper uh, I guess that confirms Puss is still alive because we have to res we're rescuing Puss and Chico is I as must has gone missing. He must have gone missing or run away. Maybe he went after Puss because we know how he feels about her from Peace Walker. So there you go. Uh, we cannot select the hard difficulty, so I guess we're just playing on normal, which would have been the plan anyway. Uh, so, normal. We're rescuing Chico and Paz. Mission will begin. Do you want to continue? I don't know. I'm stressed. <laughs> I'm, I'm so excited. All right. Let's get into it. In the, in the chopper. Ready to move out. In an era when the world was still divided into East and West, the boss, the mother of special forces and hero of World War II, defected to the Soviet Union. Are we getting, like... Oh, wow. Dude. Ah, so you can literally, like, we're just getting, like, dude, we're getting, like, a full, ah, hang on, ah, okay, and now it goes into a hint menu. Okay, so it's talking about how Zero was trying to reconnect with Big Boss and sent Paz from Cypher to do the whole the whole thing with Metal Gear Zeke. Let's start the mission. Take us in, baby. Take me on a fucking ride, Kojima. I'm ready. Dude, I want every Metal Gear Solid game to look like this. Holy shit, dude. She told us everything. Don't worry, I kept my word. She didn't suffer long. Here. You earned it. Has he got it plugged into his chest? How's it feel to play the traitor? No more war games. You're a real man now, soldier. Ah, Chico. Wow, look at him. Dude, why is he... Ugh. Ugh. Just put it in a pocket or something, man. You don't have to put it in your chest like that. Give my regards to your boss when you get home. <laughs> this dude looks like a straight-up zombie. What the fuck? Oh, look, a copyrighted song. 
I guess I better turn it down. <laughs> uh, I have to turn it down. It's literally got the copyright symbol on the goddamn music track. I can hear it just fine. So I'm going to take in these vibes. Of here's to you. Um, what an opening, huh? She survived. She was rescued by a Belizean fisherman who found her drifting in the Caribbean. So what's the plan? Silence her before we're compromised? No. I've got some. Who's that? Our friends at Cypher suspect Pass could be a double agent. This is Miller. Interrogation at a camp on the southern tip of Cuba. Black site. Nice. A slice of American pie on communist soil and out of U.S. legal jurisdiction. Who's this? The inspection of Mother Base has to be connected somehow. The timing's too perfect. The U.N.'s nuclear inspection. My guess is they're trying to corroborate Pass's link. What an army without a nation. Word of our capabilities gets out, and we'll have the whole world out to shut us down. Having an American private intelligence agency involved is bad news. Cypher's the ones who sent Paz to us in the first place. She knows their true nature. Right. Paz is our only link to Cypher. If she's still alive, we need her on our side. Whose voice is this, dude? This is, uh, really strange. And this dude looks like a straight-up zombie, man. XOF instead of Fox. Zoff. Music's over, baby. Skull face. Commander of the XOF. Identity unknown. Look at this dude. What the fuck? What happened to this guy? Who the hell was Miller talking to? That's such a cool detail that wiping away the the Zoff logo. That's very interesting. That "Here's to You" song was so subtle that it like almost didn't even seem like it was necessary. <laughs> it was like barely heard it until right at the end there, where it really picks up. So who's the other target? That would be Chico. He's being held in the same area as Pass. Last radio contact was 40 hours ago. Find them both. Bring him back alive. Enter the compound from the south cliff. Secure Chico and Pass, then report back from the rendezvous point. Hmm. Hmm. Why? That's the real logo. But wait a minute. We'll send a chopper from across the Cuban border. You should be back at Mother Base in time for. He's lunch. talking to Big Boss. Probably just miss our guests. The only catch is you go in solo. The politically sensitive nature of the mission means backup is not an option. Fine. I like some alone time now and then. What? They changed the voice actor. Are 
Are you fucking kidding me? There's Huey. We've already had Miller's voice actor. No David Hayter voice? That sounded wrong. Oh, Keitha Sutherland. I recognize the voice and the name. But that's not David Hayter. What? Did he not want to come back? Which seems really odd considering how long he's been voicing the character that he would just not do the last one. Maybe he damaged his voice <laughs> in Metal Gear Solid 4 and Peace Walker. He couldn't do it anymore. Chicon Pass are being held in an old, unused part of the compound. Get inside and head northeast. Damn, he looks good, though. Holy fuck, straight into gameplay. Um. This is an infiltration mission. You've got to stay out of sight. Before you go any further, use your binoculars to weak on the area. Can I pause? Thank fuck. Alright, I can pause. I was like, I pressed start, and it was like a live pause menu. I was like, God, please let me pause, because I need to talk about this. Uh, Keitha Sutherland is the voice of Big Boss. This is the second time that they have gotten a new person to voice Big Boss. Because obviously... And, like, it's forgivable in Metal Gear Solid 4, because he's, like, much, much older, and it's like, sure, you want to differentiate the voices, but, like, we, it was literally just David Hayter in Peace Walker. And then when I was like, oh, maybe he can't do the voice anymore, but I'm like, they literally, Robin Atkin Downs and David Hayter did the sauna thing, like, they voiced it, and while Snake's voice, uh, David Hayter's Snake's voice did sound a little bit different in there, a little bit higher pitched... I didn't, I didn't mean that he would not be in this game. What happened? I actually... Oh, what happened, man? Um, I think we need to address this first. This is literally shocking to me. Um, before we get into a thing, I want to just see if there's any controversy here. It's like, did he, did he just bail? Uh, David Hayter, uh, Metal Gear Solid 5. Why David Hayter was really replaced. He fucking replaced him? David Hayter explains why he wasn't brought back in Metal Gear Solid 5. Is you fucking joking me? Like, this is the last Metal Gear Solid entry. I, I know because Kojima got kicked out of Konami and there was all that crap because um, it was big drama, and that's why he has his own studio with Death Stranding. But how could you, man? How could you replace him when he's literally been voicing the character since Metal Gear Solid, since 1998? How could you do that? How could you go, oh, man, this guy, he really just embodies the character by this point. You know what we should do? Replace him in the final entry in the series. That is infuriating. Uh, we're going to... Let's go through this together. This is a part of the Let's Play, guys. This is this is it. This is part of the Let's Play experience. Um, David Hayter, on the 1st of April... Oh, that's really weird. It is the 4th of April today. On the 1st of April, 2013, um, wrote this. Um, Metal, Gear, Metal Gear 5 by David Hayter. Here's a recap of events. I have been up in Toronto for the past eight months directing my film. On the December break, uh, I came home to Los Angeles for the holidays. I heard then that recording sessions for Metal Gear 5 were being put together, but I didn't hear anything about whether I'd be needed or not. I got in touch with someone involved in the production. We got together for lunch. He told me that they wouldn't be needing me on this game. No reason or explanation was given beyond that. And that was it. I drove home through Laurel Canyon, bummed, and thinking about Snake. 
To be clear, I love being a part of the world of Metal Gear. I admire its technological innovations, the gameplay, the political message of it all, but primarily I love the fans of these games. Two grown men burst into tears upon meeting me at Vancouver Fan Expo last year. Now that is a rare and excellent role. You know you're making an impact, and I love doing it. In 1998, I tried to come up with a voice which epitomized the kind of worn, put-upon, genetically engineered clone soldier that I saw Snake to be. Over time, as the games became more stunning and visually sophisticated, I tried to transition that initial voice into the increasingly real environments in which Snake found himself. My level of success is up to you, but any perceived deficiencies were not for lack of hard work. I've dedicated a huge amount of time and effort into creating a compelling character capable of expressing the myriad emotional, physical, and psychological hurdles that Snake has to face. Anyway, now it's been 15 years, literally at that point, 2013, 15 years. Nine games and an enormous blast to undertake. If, ever, if it were my choice, I would do this role forever. To hear anyone else's voice coming from Snake's battered throat makes me a little ill, to be honest. But the truth is, it's not my choice. Any and all casting decisions are the sole purview of Hideo Kojima and Konami itself, and that's fair. And I'll get by. And know that I will miss this job and this character very much. My best wishes to you all. Dude, what the fuck? That is absolutely tragic. Did Kojima replaced the guy after all of this? I can't even continue playing or going through this without reading this first because I'm like, this is fucked. What's David Hayter's perspective? Um, do this. I'm just looking through a bunch of stuff. I had to re audition for Metal Gear 3 to play Naked Snake. He had to re audition in MGS 3? They made me re audition to play Old Snake, and the whole time they were trying to find somebody else to do it. I heard that Kojima asked one of the producers on Metal Gear 3 to ask Kurt Russell if he would take over for that game. He didn't want to do it. Fuck, man. Kojima's been trying to replace him since MG3. That's wild. Um, <sighs> I wanted to make sure the actor who did the voice also acted out the facial expressions as well. That's Kojima's reasoning? He didn't think David Hayter could do the mocap? Oh my god. I've just scrolled through that one because that's a, that's a long one. But that was a, yeah, and just mainly reading the text there. But that has blown my mind. I was literally, like, talking about it before. I was like, man, I can't wait to hear what he sounds like because it's been an interesting evolution of his voice. And I think it's true what he's written. He's, he's done an absolutely incredible job. Um, no matter how much you can meme it compared to his, like, first entry to now. Ah, oh, man, that's so depressing. Now I have to get used to Keith Sutherland as Big Boss in this game. And, like, to be honest, the voice ain't half bad, but it's not Snake. It's so weird. Having his line, taking the goggles off and be like, kept you waiting, huh? That doesn't sound like David Hayter is really jarring. Like, when you hear that line, you expect it to be like, kept you waiting, huh? Not kept you waiting, huh? It's so weird. And now I have to just play the game with that. Ugh. Oh, let's get that. Let's get that out of the way, because it's happened, and every you've all known about it. Guys in Barranquilla, some of them with barely enough gear to protect themselves. Now here we are, not one year later, over three hundred men strong. One year later. The way I see it, this is still our zero hour. Once this mission's behind us, I want to pitch you some ideas about expansion. I'm gonna pause because it looks like we're gonna get a uh, live. Um live codec again um yeah we'll put this behind us we'll move on because you guys have known about this for so long and i literally had no idea that he'd been replaced which is so upsetting because i'm going like every time i would see david hater man i'm like fuck yeah snake <laughs> so that and the fact that he didn't like he would play the role forever like you see that love and passion that he has for it and even that alone doesn't 
he had to keep re-auditioning, which is which is terrible. Um, but we'll we'll move we'll move along and away from that. So that's the that's the segment of me having to grieve the loss of uh, the voice of Snake and adjust to a new one. But now what I have to adjust to is the game itself. <laughs> so um, let's have a look and see what we're getting ourselves into because this looks absolutely gorgeous. Um, it looks like if we press start, we've got an eye droid. In the so this is and a year later, so 1975. So they had the eye droid technology in 1975. So that's cool. Uh, navigation. Oh, is this so we can uh, we can move with the map open? Okay, great. Okay, uh, compass on and off, uh, so we can just have it set in. Zoom in and out. Okay, that's navigation with the map. You can set markers, so that's where we need to go. Landing zone. Red landing zones. And the menu, so we've got the mission info. Head for the old prison area. This is the transmission we intercepted. Chico's call for help. Snake, it's Chico. I need your help. Cypher's holding me on a U.S. military base in Cuba. Damn. Classic's here too. You're at the prison area on the coast. There's some cages to the east of a big building. Is that pass? East and old grassy facility. That's where we are. Help me, Snake. Did they sh Lives are in your hands. Get Chico and Pass out of there. Dude, is that Puzz next to Chico? They shave her head and make her a prisoner? Damn. Uh, and he, now we're in the Walkman, so we can play cassette tapes. Let's have a look. So we've got um, everything in here. Puzz's Diary. I listened to all of those on the Xbox version because I hadn't yet decided <laughs> uh, which version I was going to play on. Um, so, pre-mission brief, Paz's spy log as well. Uh, so we've got the pre-mission brief. I'm assuming we should probably check these all out. So, it's really hard to, to balance this because I'm like, I have to listen to this. But at the same time, there's going to be dialogue that's related to the gameplay because the codec is back being played live. So let's just sit here. And listen to it. This is a one-man infiltration mission, boss. Equipment is the bare essentials. Anything else will be OSP. The target location is a prison camp on a U.S. military base. On-site procurement. Place locked down tight. Your only backup will be one extraction chopper. We can't send anything else. You won't need to. Again, this is infiltration, a sneaking mission. <laughs> Number one priority is remaining undetected. Use discretion before engaging any guards you encounter. Be mindful of their sensory perceptions. Sight, sound, smell, and pain. Fortunately, these atmospheric conditions will continue until dawn. That should provide you with some cover. At least the weather's on my side. It, it, uh, it's, it's, I'm so torn. He's to rescue Chico and Pass. I'm so torn. I'm so torn. I think the voice is not bad. But it's just the fact that it's not him. According to Chico, they're both being held at an old prison facility. Recon from the intel unit supports this, so it's safe to assume that's where they are. Once you've gotten them to the RV, call in the extraction chopper. I'll monitor the situation and offer guidance from here. But you'll be the one in the field. How you handle this mission is entirely up to you, boss. I really like that it tells you how much time is left and it looks like these might be like pretty short and sweet. Nuclear inspection demand by the IAEA. So this is what they briefly mentioned in that opening segment where they were talking about the nuclear inspection. So let's have a look. Snake, yesterday we received official communication from the IAEA. It says, it has come to our attention that your organization recently purchased nuclear fuel from Uzbekistan authorities. We request permission to inspect your facilities. What a load of bullshit. Yeah, they're after Metal Gear Zeke's nuclear warhead. 
I'm betting this is payback from Cypher after Poss's leak. Using the UN. There's no telling how much influence they have. But the IAEA can only do inspections in countries that are party to the NPT. And we're not a country. Exactly. We haven't signed a safeguards agreement with the IAEA over peaceful nuclear use. And we're not obligated to report any nuclear material we have, nor information about any nuclear facilities. The IAEA has no authority to inspect us. But despite all that... That nuke's our last line of defense. We don't want to announce we have it until the world is preparing to wipe us off the map. Until then, we let everyone think we're just a private army with conventional firepower. What's Huey's take? That the problem's how to hide the nuke in Metal Gear. But I gotta tell you, he was all for it. I see. But there's no way we can have the IAEA poking around here. So what do we do? Ignore them? Send them an official letter of refusal. Say that we're a private organization and we've done nothing to attract the suspicion. You got it. Allowing the nuclear inspection. We finished Zeke's waterproofing Oof. reinforcement yesterday. The day after tomorrow, we'll be done installing the main depth control tank, the compressed air tank, and the attitude control propeller pod. Huey. If the underwater test goes well, next week we'll try the 300 foot seabed depth. They didn't replace Christopher Randolph, though, as Huey. They kept our boy, so they kept Robin Atkin Downs. It's so weird. How did we end up agreeing to the nuclear inspection? Because after you sent that letter, I told them. After careful reconsideration, we agree to your request. And frankly, we should be inspected. This is our chance. If they come and go without discovering the nuke, we can tell the world we're clean. Of course, it's risky, and we'll have to make sure everything's perfect, but it'll be worth it. Huey, can they do an inspection without going through the Board of Governors? We contacted the IAEA's admin branch, and they said there's no record of us being brought up at any of the board's meetings. I'd say probably a preliminary inspection to determine whether we should be referred to the board. So it's bound to be a small inspection team, and they won't be here that long. Don't worry. Leave everything to me. Has the media gotten wind of this? Yeah. Two major Western networks want to do stories on us. I planned on saying yes. What? You want to broadcast this place to the world? That's why I agreed to the inspection. This is a golden opportunity. We can use the media to prove to the world we don't have a nuke. Besides, even if we said no, it would just be delaying the inevitable. Ugh, Kaz, our hands are tied now. Start getting the place ready. Thanks, boss. Don't get the wrong idea. You set it up so that any more changes of heart will arouse suspicion, that's all. <sighs> Zeke stays, but we'll have to move all other AFVs to shore. Any potential troublemakers can go with them for some mandatory R&R. &R. Sound good, boss? Just do it. Interesting. About the inspection, what do we tell the men? The truth. What else? The one thing we don't need to worry about is anyone here spilling the beans about Zeke. Good point. What about the Sandinistas? There's still quite a few of them left on the base. I hate to say it, but it won't look good having Soviet bloc personnel here. The problem is, moving a group that size in a hurry would look even worse. At least Amanda's on assignment in Cuba. Ah, uh, Amanda. Recognize her. She should stay put for now. All civilians save Huey will have to return to their countries. Even your Parisian? Of course. We'll get her whatever paper she needs. <laughs> Dr. Strangelove's departure came at a perfect time. Oh. The less Zeke-related staff here, the better. Wait, she left? That's right. You were away on a mission. She left last week. What? There's nothing cooking in AI weapons research, and Zeke is complete. There was really no reason for her to hang around. Hmm. I'm surprised Huey let her go that easy. Yeah, his crush on Strangelove was never much of a secret, huh? He followed her everywhere while Zeke was in development. Boy, would she get pissed. But he does have a lot on his mind right now. I've got bigger issues to deal with. That's what he said. Yeah. That's the spirit, Huey. Interesting. Ten days ago, we got reports that Poss was still alive. She survived. She was rescued by a Belizean fisherman who found her drifting in the Caribbean. So what's the plan? Silence her before we're compromised? No. I've got something else in mind. Our friends at Cypher suspect Paz could be a double agent. She's being held for interrogation at a camp on the southern tip of Cuba. 
Black site. Nice. A slice of American pie on communist soil. And out of US legal jurisdiction. We just listened to this, okay. The upcoming inspection of Mother Base. Interesting. Connected somehow. The timing's too perfect. The UN's nuclear inspection. My guess is they're trying to corroborate Pass's leak. We're an army without a nation. Word of our capabilities gets out, and we'll have the whole world out to shut us down. Having an American private intelligence agency involves bad news. Cypher's the ones who sent Paz to us in the first place. She knows their true nature. Right. Paz is our only link to Cypher. If she's still alive, we need her on our side. If not us, who else is gonna rescue that bitch? When do we do it? The inspection comes first. We'll deal with us afterwards. Do the men know? Word has started to spread. The information came from Cuba through Amanda. One of the base personnel used to belong to El Frente. I'll tell everyone we don't concern ourselves with the survival of enemy spies. We need them focused on the inspection. And if we get her back here and she isn't cooperative, there's still plenty of room for her in the ocean. Works for me. What about Chico? He had a chance to stop Paz from hijacking Zeke and he blew it. He's carried that guilt ever since. Kid really did care about her. Chico, it's hard to say how he'll react. Have Amanda call him out to Cuba. He shouldn't be here right now. Good idea. They haven't seen each other in a while. Little time with Big Sis and he'll forget all about you know who. I actually want to see, I want to see Amanda. That'll be interesting. What? Still no sign of Chico? What's going on? It's Amanda in Cuba. Our resupply package arrived, but Chico wasn't with it. Relax, Amanda. I'm sure he's just exploring Havana or something. First time in the big city. Could have gotten carried away. Cos, wait. The boat Chico was on, did it stop anywhere before it got to Havana? Yeah, it had to refuel at Santiago de Cuba. You don't think... Oh, shit. You gotta be kidding me. He does this now? It's 60 miles from Santiago to the prison camp. Chico used to cross the mountains with the older Sandinistas like it was nothing. He'll make that mm. days. Still, even if he does find his way there. You know how reckless he can be. Chico thinks we've abandoned Paz. That's why he's doing this. We'll start by having the intel detachment in Cuba look for him. We can't let him be captured. Wow. So that's what happened. So we got word of Paz's survival and then Chico's like, Well, bye Snake. I'm gonna go rescue him. Chico talks, he could blow the new cover up. We can't hold off until the inspection's over. When can we be ready? It'll take at least 16 hours to confirm the flight path and prep a bird. The intel unit has started reconning the area. Sounds like I'll have to miss the inspection. Boss, we'll just have to send someone else to get them out. No. I'll go. Yeah. Chico and Paz would only take orders from you anyway. We can't go taking on those Marines at the base head on. It's got to be off the radar, and it's got to be you. Hold down the fort, Cos. Chico talks, though, didn't he? Snake, you can forget about civil liberties where you're headed. God only knows what they'd do to you if you got caught. Do not let that happen. The Cubans lease the land to the U.S. as a gesture for helping them gain independence from Spain. The deal remains in effect until both countries agree to dissolve it, or the U.S. abandons the land. That's why America still operates the base even after La Revolución. Problem is, it's leased land. Meaning it isn't American soil, so the U.S. Constitution doesn't apply there. That allows them to withhold its civil rights protections. Yeah, that's Uncle Sam's excuse. The area was originally only for detaining refugees from countries like Cuba and Haiti. But a few years ago, the CIA and its likes started using it as a black site. Enemies of the state are renditioned there and subjected to extreme forms of interrogation. You can bet Cypher had a hand in that. As you'd expect, American and other Western human rights organizations aren't allowed anywhere near the place. What happens there disappears down the memory hole. Who knows what they're doing to Chico and Paz? I'd like to interrogate her ourselves. But if worse comes to worst, make sure she's dead. Chico, on the other hand, we have to bring back. Fast. He knows too much about us. Cos. 
The area is surrounded by mines placed by both the U.S. and Cuba, making escape on foot impossible. You're heading into the lion's den, Snake. Don't take this one lightly. Come back in one piece. Yeah. I actually, I actually love how this is set so close to Peace Walker that we can have such a good continuation of this story, which is, uh, which is, which is awesome. So, I own the only reason I didn't play it in the Walkman and us to move around is because I want to take in the dialogue that's going to happen outside of this. Um, so, there we go. That was the menu. We're heading over there, but there's a whole area to check out. So thank you so much, guys, for bearing with me for this, like, big, long-winded introduction and setup, because I really want to make sure that I get everything and we kind of work our way through all of this. Um, so we can get into gameplay. All right, we're on a D-pad system. Oh, hang on. Ow. Oh, that's so much better. That's awesome. So it's a D-pad, but you can also have m other things. Dude, the night vision goggles look sweet. Look how good this looks. This looks insanely good. Oh man, that's just what I want to see. I need to get a handle on the controls. Um, okay, we can move. Oh, crouched. Ah, it doesn't do a dive. Hold on. Oh, dive is with square, okay. Uh, we can prone and walk. Oh. Is that getting caught? L2 and L3, roll. Yeah, baby. <laughs> roll, baby. Oh, shit, I'm gonna get seen. Oh, no! Oh, what? What? Oh. <laughs> this is so cinematic. Oh. What the fuck? <laughs> that whole, that whole like cinematic like and then it's just doo -doo -doo. <laughs> get a Zoff patch. XOF. XOF patches, one out of nine. So I guess I have to find those patches that were thrown out of the. No, they they went down the cliff edge. That doesn't make sense. Okay, I don't know how to find them. I thought I got caught there. All right, so L two L three to roll. Oh, and to hopefully not get caught. Oh, this is incredible. Head for the old prison. You'll find the target. Ah, I press LB for the codec. You can use your iDroid to check all sorts of operational data. The map, objectives, the target's locations. It'll help a lot if you let it. I want it to be in the control type. There we are. Um, action type A, action type B, shooter type A, shooter type B. Attack CQC. I think this is probably the one that I want to stay with. Action type A looks good to me. Ready weapon attack binoculars, radio. Yeah, this is straightforward. I like that. I like that. Uh, we've got binoculars. Press the call button to get more intel. Ah. A searchlight. Stay out of the beam or the guard will spot you. Contextual live codec based on where we're looking, dude. Yes. You could either break through the fence or go around. What do you think? It makes a noise when it's something. I think. Yeah. Spotted. It'd be a good idea to study the layout and enemy posts before going inside. An anti-air gun. A chopper's worst nightmare. 
Guess we should take it out then. Dude, that's amazing. So chucking the binoculars in and then just getting like that live codec stuff. I sent VIs of the targets to your iDroid. Take a good look. Alright, let's avoid that searchlight. Can we shoot the searchlight out? That would probably alert the dude, wouldn't it? To climb an obstacle, press the action button. Ooh, mouse. To climb. Ooh, okay, we can climb up here. Oh, I'm gonna get seen. Oh! Oh, L2? Okay, hold on. <laughs> what? Oh, that's so good. When you get caught, it goes into slow motion. That's perfect for me. I needed that. <laughs> oh, that's cool. All right, can we shoot the light out? Can we also go th first person? Yeah. I missed this. Oh, that's cool. We shot the light out. Hell yes. Hell yes, baby. So we can climb up here. That's a shame that I got seen. But so, when you get seen, you get a chance to react and just go, Chow! We've killed our first guy. <laughs> We're clearly not tranquilizing. Oh, okay, so you can just get like behind the watchtower and then like climb up. You can also go around here. Ah, this is how you get in, baby. Now head east to the old prison area. You can bring up the target's location on your iDroid. Yeah, but like... Oh, hang on, there's a car. I hear one. Why would we go straight to the prison camp? There's a whole area out here that apparently we're supposed to... That we're allowed to roam. There it is. Binoculars are equipped with a directional microphone. You should be able to listen in on whatever they're pointed at. Wow. That's a military four-wheel drive. I bet it can turn on a dime. Okay. So we got car patrolling the place. I should probably take out that searchlight as well, hey. Maybe I should get closer so I can deal with the dude. God, this is incredible. This is absolutely incredible. I just feel... stealthy. Oh, dude. This is incredible. Alright, we're gonna try and get to him. If you haven't guessed by now... If you haven't guessed by now, by the way, guys... This is... I'm going to really have to just watch what I say around the fact that there's a live codec constantly interrupting me. But um, if you guys haven't guessed already by how this is going to go, I think if you guys have watched my other Metal Gear Solid playthroughs, I like to be, especially most recently as I've been progressing through the games, I like to be really extensive because one my biggest regrets about Metal Gear Solid 1 and 2 is not paying enough attention. Those are my regrets on those playthroughs. And uh, I still pay for that because I still have people coming through and commenting on Metal Gear Solid 2 specifically um, being annoyed at me. And that's okay. That's fair enough. Um, because I was still kind of figuring it out. And... Um, I wish I could do it over again, but better. And I and I will on a replay. But yeah, it is it is a shame. But if you if you can't tell, this is we're already approaching an hour, <laughs> and it's just been set up and taking everything in. I like to be as extensive and thorough as possible. I don't like to be like, okay, guys, I don't care about listening to everything. Let's just get into the gameplay. Let's shoot some things. Let's just only get story and cutscenes and then call it a day because there's so much to take in especially in Metal Gear and I it's incredible it just within the last six months how much of a fan I am of this series now like I love this series 
so fucking much. It's incredible. So I really just want to be able to take that all in and share those reactions and those feelings with you because I really care about this and I've I've cared about Metal Gear Solid since I since I picked it up. It's just I've learnt how to engage with this type of game uh, over time. You know, nobody's first playthrough is perfect, and ever and I'm I'm sure everybody's first playthrough of Metal Gear Solid they did not take advantage of the codec whatsoever, but went back on replays to get all of that information and that's what I'm going to do on those earlier games but we are going to take our time we are having a nice chill experience of just absorbing the information we don't want to rush through it and I hope you guys appreciate that um because I I I just really I just really care and I'm having a great time and I don't want to I don't want to rush through an experience and just get through to the end like I want to be able to soak it in and actually feel what's going on and take all of the ga- the new gameplay changes like and just really like see what they've done and i i can't wait to just experience metal gear solid 5 as a whole so let's continue i'm gonna sneak up on this guy is what i wanted to do i can turn the light on can we interrogate r2 is effective for dealing with nearby enemies Alright, CQC. I'm assuming we need to hold it down to grab him. Yes. You can now either interrogate him, knock him out, or kill him. Ah. Call him, spit it out. Spit it out. I was sure not fully voice acted, okay. Spit it out. Which is which is okay. It's fine. I mean... I'm pretty sure... Pretty sure they could have voice acted this for a console game. Alright. We'll choke him out. We'll choke him out. Nice. You should move the bodies of enemies somewhere out of sight. Ah... Oh, great. Amazing. Can I just throw him in here? Oh, God. I really threw him. <laughs> I really just threw him in here. Hang on. Can I get that? Yeah. Infinite magazine. Um. Ah, you can control the light. Okay. Can we turn the light off? I guess not. We just turn that one on. <laughs> Alright. Cool. Interrogation is cool. Can we sabotage the anti-air gun considering we need to evac by chopper? We can get in it. If we want to go loud... <laughs> Maybe we should just take out everybody in the base so nobody can shoot us down. This is so good. I love this! Being able to, like, interact with the environment like this. Holy crap. This is such a good evolution. Like, the evolution of gameplay in Metal Gear Solid games is so incredible. That's why I also agree with, like, what David Hayter was saying when he was just talking about, like, what he loves about the games, you know? And I agree. We cannot go into doors. Open the menu tab, then select mission info. From there you can view targets photos or check other visual information. Eyes open, boss. Ooh, R3 to okay, hold on. R3 to peak. Ah. L2 and R2 cover attack. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. You should try listening in on those soldiers. Even casual chatter could reveal something in a place like this. Um where are the soldiers? Aha. Uh-huh. Well, there's one. He's gonna see me if I poke my head out of here. Oh look at that! I love that. Oh no! Shoot him! 
Put him to sleep! Shit! <laughs> All I wanted to do was, um... Listen to the guy. Take a good look at the enemy through your binoculars, and you can mark him. Marked enemies can be sensed when nearby, even if there's a wall between you and them. Nice. But it only works if you stop and take the time to focus your attention. This helps you maintain situational awareness. Try it. Um, dude. Ah. That's the hand grenade that he pointed out, okay. Dude, there's like this whole area to check out, and this is the, where we need to go? But what if, but what if we just kind of fuck around and have a great time? If you haven't guessed, this is going to be an incredibly long episode of me playing this game and, uh, and taking my time with it, because this looks so extensive! I'm so impressed already. Oh. Nope, I don't know. Ah, they take out a flashlight. That's so cool. And the music changes. Oh. It would be really cool if we could go in these rooms, but we can't. Oh, wow. They are... They are... They are on to us. Damn. They are very good at spotting people. Ooh. Oh, wow. Okay. If I take him out, I'll need to hide the body. So maybe... Better to leave him alive. Can't hide in the toilet. Remember when we were able to hide in things? Dude. Solo s- Oh. I saw the marking on the side. XOF. XOF. It's some kind of unit name? How if I know? Maybe I saw it wrong. Anyway, they're gone now. Guess we'll never find out. It's a guard. Don't let him see you. Avoid combat whenever possible. Wow, okay. So they're talking about the XOF guys as well. Oh god. Would turning on the light stop, like, stop them from seeing me? Like, it would, like, blind them a bit? There's another gun there as well. That's an AA gun. They're just as serious about their air defenses. Oh, man. Ooh! Does this replace my... Ah... Nice. I got a sniper, dude. Um, I don't want to go lethal at the moment, especially with the fact that I don't think that we'll be able to... Oh, fuck. With the fact that I don't think we'll be able to... Silence that boy? Dude, this one... This person is... Oh, shit. They are literally coming for me. I didn't even notice. Okay, fuck. Hold on. I gotta go and have a chat to this guy. Oh fuck, okay. Oh. It's like getting obstructed. <laughs> go to sleep. Go to sleep, go to sleep. Alright. Oh, okay. Let's. I gotta hide you. But where? In the bushes. In the bushes. Can I just put you down? Yes. I don't have to throw you. That's good. Where are we on the map?
We need the grenade, apparently. Hold on. Ah. Cool. So there you go. Um, can I now remove the marker? I can. Wonderful. This is incredible. My favorite thing about, like, getting into a new game a lot of the time is just being able to, like, take that... Take the introduction. Take that time to, like, breathe and figure out what the hell we're about to get ourselves into. Spit it out. Ooh, you'll find a cassette tape here. Interesting. Where's the cassette tape? Oh, what? <laughs> I thought I knocked him out. Jesus. All right, let's have a look at the. Let's have a look at the map. So good. It seems that Snake doesn't do a lot of talking. He talks quite a bit in that opening, but it's just going to be Cuz talking to Snake, which is fine with me because it's Robin Atkin Downs, and that's Miller to me. A gun with a suppressor generates less noise, meaning there's next to no chance of it giving away your presence. You're way too exposed there. Find some cover and stick to it. Your tranquilizer gun's effective range isn't that great. The round's trajectory will drop the farther it goes, so take that into account while aiming. Okay. Damn, dude. Okay, that's where we're heading to get the tape. This guy's sleepy. You know what that means? Sounds like you need a nap, sir. You need a nap. Can we go in here? Yes! Hell yes. We can enter buildings. I was like, this that window looks see-through, so I was like, come on. We gotta be able to do it. You get in there. You stay for a nap. You're sleeping on the job, sir. Alright. Maybe this is how we have to get to it. Yeah, I think we might have to go through here. Alright. Let's do it. Watch the corners, apparently. Those tranquilizer rounds are only good for putting your target to sleep. They won't help you break anything. Ah, okay. So they won't actually break the lights like the other stuff will? Ooh, we can lockpick? Fuck yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Oh my god. Alright, there's a dude. Okay, we gotta get up there somehow. Let's have a look. I see a camera, or two, so I'm going to have to break, can I shoot the cameras? The targets are in the old prison. Secure the targets, they're in the old prison. Its feed is being monitored at their CP. If you take it out, you can bet guys would come running from inside. Okay. Surveillance camera. So don't take out the camera because then more people will come. I'm gonna get that rat, stab it with a fork. Survival viewer. Oh god. Okay, risky, risky. 
Oh no, someone's body's been discovered. Oh shit. Which one? Oh man. I don't know if I could get this shot. Nah. Alright, that boy is about to get discovered. We gotta be quick if we wanna get this cassette tape. They're gonna put the guards on alert. You're asleep. Alright. We're in, baby. Yeah. Chico's Tape 2. Alright, someone actually said to me there was a comment that was uh, preemptive, preemptively left during the Peace Walker days, so long ago now, um, that I actually need to or should wait until I have all of Chico's tapes and then listen to them all together. So we've got Chico's tape number two. I'm unsure if we already have number one based on the tapes that we have from him, like the distress signal or something, but I don't know. Regardless, um, for some reason, that guy's still asleep and they're just chilling out. So that's so funny to me. Um, they just let him sleep on the job. So we've got Chico's tape number two, but apparently we should wait um, until we have all of them. I don't know if you can get multiple cassette tapes in a mission, actually. I'll have to... Because this is the mission info, which we've already looked at, which takes a little while to load. We've got the map, navigation, but no, like, collectibles. Like, when we picked up that patch for the XOF, it was just said XOF patch 1 out of 9. But we don't have any context with that, you know? Like, whether or not that's actually what we're uh, needing to collect in just this one mission alone. Or multiple missions. Oh! We both scared each other. It's okay. Go to sleep. Shit, I love this so much. Being able to get a chance, dude, is my favorite thing. Like, when they see you and you're like, oh! Incredible. Oh, nice. Oh, not nice. An armored vehicle. You don't want to take on that cannon. Dude, I've fought way too many of those in my time. I'm done. <laughs> too many vehicle battles. I'm scarred for life. Cool. Okay, we just opened a door. Dude, there's got them supplies everywhere, but they're not obvious. They Remember in Metal Gear Solid 1? Supplies used to be so obvious. Oh, there's a dude right there. Hmm. I'm really trying here. I don't know what the drop-off is, so I'm just failing spectacularly. Yeah, I'm just failing. Let's just get a bit closer, I guess. He's just going to keep staring at the wall. Alright, let's do that. I need to get some ammo, I'm gonna run out. I wasted a lot there. All fire teams, this is CP. We may have a situation. Whoever's closest, go check it out. Oh no. CP, this is Delta One. We'll investigate ASAP. Ouch. What's the situation, guys? And who could have caused it? Ooh. You okay? You're asleep now. I want to go down there. Nope, he's sleeping. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, shit. 
There's only so many Marines you can put to sleep before everybody goes on alert status. You all right? Oh, hold on, hold on, sir. This is why we hide bodies. This is why we hide bodies. You're all going to sleep. Now stop, stop finding each other. I've only got eight, like 16 of these bullets left. Oh, I was going to hang over the edge, but never mind. All right. What are we doing? What are we doing over here, boys? Can't interact with the big red blinky light. That's fine. I didn't want to anyway. Is there anything we can do down here? Another big red blinky light? Nope. CP, this is Zulu 7. Still no sign of the enemy. Standing down. Over. This is CP. Understood. Stand down. Stand down. Return to your boat. Out. Sounds good to me, guys. Sorry, Chico and Pass. I'm having a great time. Ooh, we got a different guy. We got a couple of different guys. All right, hold on. Um, what's the game plan? Oh, hang on. There's a there's a there's a prisoner in here that's under watch. Okay. Oh. Oh shit, man. Put him to sleep. Put him to sleep. Damn it! I was gonna interrogate one of them. Oh yes, awesome. Cool. <laughs> that worked out in my favor. Speak, guy. There are guys posted at these positions. Alright, well you're going to sleep then. Thank you. God damn it, man. That was tense. When one sees you and then the other person sees you right after. Can you like... I don't think you can pat down people for supplies. Doesn't seem like there's an option to do that. Like Peace Walker. Dude, what the fuck? What? Oh, bro, no, I'm busy. Is this the target? What do you mean? This isn't where we're supposed to be. But I was exploring away from where I'm supposed to be. I'm supposed to be there. <laughs> um. Oh. Oh shit, what if this is pass? Cause Chico's maybe in the camp? Have oh no, what if I've just done it out of order? I was just like, we have to explore everywhere else first. I was kind of hoping this would be like a bonus thing. I thought I was doing extra stuff. Oh shit. Oh shit. She did get her head shaved. A double agent whose true alliances are unknown. Wow. I gotta say, I marked the RV on your map. You need to carry pass there. I gotta say, Peace Walker has ruined my life because I was literally just like, 
about to laugh because I was like, and now Big Boss is going to use the Fulton recovery. <laughs> it's like has this emotional connect reunion connection with Paz. All right, see you later. <laughs> um, oh god. <laughs> oh no! I'm not meaning to step on you. I I didn't know that that was even a thing. All right, so I've got to load her onto an RV, and then I've got to load Chico into the same RV, I guess, and then we go to a chopper extraction. Oh, fuck, but there's been a shift change, dude. That's what it popped up with on the side, so we're about to get fucked. What the fuck? Bruh. There's men sleeping on the job. <laughs> That's so funny. I was like, dude. Did he wake him up? No, he didn't. All right, cool. No, 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 no! Somebody, get over here! Don't call your friends, Jesus Christ! I tried to move the camera and accidentally did that. All right. Well, you're getting choked out too. We only killed that one guy out of uh, panic necessity. Everyone else were kind of taken out nicely. Damn. Hurry up and carry the target toward the objective. Paz literally went through quite the uh, quite the change there. Be cannot even recognize her, and that's what a shaved head does. Um. I guess we could go out this way. I was gonna go up here before. I was like, oh, cool. It's like we can rescue a bonus prisoner. Like, um, it's an illusion. we can rescue a bonus prisoner. Like in Peace Walker, but no, this was Paz. Sorry, Chico. You're getting rescued second. Shit, dude! <laughs> Come on, man! Paz, shut the fuck up. We're gonna get caught. I wasn't supposed to rescue you first, so you can be grateful. Oh, man. There's another dude in here, too. Alright, I need to take Paz there. And I guess when we get Chico, we can just go there as well. What's the... Oh, this is the... We have enemies posted here, Intel. Okay. Yeah, that's what that is. Oh, no. Where? Oh shit. Damn it. Dude, I was doing so well. Alright. Get down, pass. Throw you down. Holy fuck. What? We are getting fucked up. Alright. Oh wow. It's literally the vehicle. Oh man, this was the worst place to get caught. Damn. They literally know exactly where we are. Whoa! <laughs> Into the hole. No. Bruh, they shot her into the air. 
<laughs> no! What the fuck? Where am I? Okay. Okay, let's do this a lot better. This is a good shit little checkpoint. God damn. Alright, hold on a minute. Ah, I mean, now that you mention it, Paz, you did get shot into this hole. You were just telling me what to do all along. Oops. Hang on. Let's, uh, can I go in prone and crawl with you? I don't think so. No. Um, you just, you just lie down. Let me... Get rid of that. Ah. Uh, but if I get rid of the light... Dude. Oh! I need to take that light out, but there's a problem. Is that it's gonna alert that dude. So I kinda need to take the light out and then him out simultaneously. not. Alright, I'm sorry guys. Shit. Enemy fire! We are, we are murdering now. Oh no, who's killing all those soldiers? We were doing so well, but it's all your fault, Paz. Alright, let's move. Stop it. I'm gonna bypass this camera. Nice. Bruh. Yeah, alright, sure. You can Just use that to take out their vehicles or anti air guns. But you'll be broadcasting your position to the whole base. Yep. If you're gonna use it, be ready. In the case of an emergency, like if that stupid ass uh, vehicle spots us, pause, you don't have to be quiet. She's just making all this noise on purpose. I love seeing their faces uh, render in real time. It's so realistic. Okay, we're going down this way. Okay, there's a man on the bridge. Did we have we done it the hard way by taking out pass first? <laughs> it feels that way. Does this guy move? You need to carry pass there. Okay, of course. Uh, he moves, that's fine. This is actually so fucking cool. I'm just like blown away by this. Alright, we're gonna go to the left and there. Drop cheek, uh, drop pass off. Oh, no, 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 no. Keep moving. Keep moving. Okay. Dude up on the ridge. Dude down here. I don't think we can CQC. Oh, well, we've got pass, so I'm gonna have to drop her. Alright, that's where we get Chico. Alright, you go to sleep. Okay. The RV is just a little further. Okay. So we're not oh so we're not doing a chopper extraction? 
landing zone. Oh, hang on. RV? No. What? I'm confused. Let's just drop her off. Just a lovely amount of repet repetitive dialogue there for you, Puss. Great. You reached the RV. Go ahead and call the chopper. Ah, so we can't use Fulton Recovery. We have to do this. So if I go... Call helicopter. Danger low. Okay, so maybe that must mean it's like there, the uh, danger high. Okay. So we could have called it in there, but it would have been like very dangerous. Roger that chopper request. It's headed your way now. Hit me. Hit me all <laughs> All right, pause. I'm gonna just wait here for the chopper. Oh, you have to put it down anyway. Lol. <laughs> I just thought it was gonna come. Oops. Here it comes. It comes in like in real time, dude. This is Morpho, arriving shortly at LZ. Cool. Maybe I could have done this when I also got Chico, but there you go. Oh, fuck. Oh man, I made a mistake. I should have done this all at once. Oh no, I'm not supposed to get in the chopper. Get out. No, 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 get out. <laughs> get out. No! I need to get Chico, fuck's sake. I did this I did this wrong. I'm such an idiot. Helicopter departed. Oh, I, yeah, there you go. Goodbye, Paz. You've been extracted. Alright, let's do this again properly. I should have just got it when I got both of the targets. We live and we learn. I love he's like, what's wrong? Mission abort? It's like, bruh. Someone forgot about Chico. You are not discovering that man. Alright, let's get Chico. We're gonna get in here. There's still Chico. Hurry to the old prison. Camp Omega. Prison area. The targets are there. That's the old prison area. Chico should be there. Hurry up and find him. Chico's somewhere inside that chain link fence. Somewhere inside there is Chico. Damn, there's a few. Right. It's him. Still on the side of the enemy. Standing down. Over. This is CP. Understood. All fire teams, return to your post. Out. It's him because of how he sat. Yeah. Oh my god, why won't he shoot him? Oh no! 
No! I'm such an idiot. Ooh. I blinded him with my light. Ooh. Check that out. Oh, fuck. Well. This is what we brought this for, isn't it? Holy shit. Holy fuck. Ain't nothing like a bit of fucking action with the rocket launcher, dude. I've had plenty of experience in this department. No, dude. No. But snake. snake. Time paradox because I died. Oh my god, I'm such an idiot. I've had plenty of experience in this department. Boom. Blow myself up. Not wrong, I do have plenty of experience in blowing myself up, so there you go. Alright, shall we try this one again? Nothing like some casual fails, you know. It just makes it all the more exciting. You're not calling that one in, sir, I'm sorry. Can't let it happen. Take my flashlight, bitch. I kind of forgot that that was going to be a, uh, a factor. That's the old prison area. The targets are there. Dude, all right. Uh, yeah. Spit it out. Oh man, okay. See, it plays the music. It plays music. When it's when it's pa uh, when it's Chico. Oh, in the fucking tower. What the fuck am I supposed to? Oh, nice. I was like, how the fuck am I supposed to get that? Jesus. Can we rescue all of them? There's someone in there. What do you plan on doing? Can we rescue more? Can we rescue them? One at a time. You can pull them out too if you want, but just don't forget the targets. Hang on, I've got an idea. There was a car here. Can we can we load up people in the car? Holy fuck, yes we can. Dude, this is fucking great. We're driving people to the extraction zone. Holy shit. We're getting you all out of here. Dude, we got so many. I'm gonna have to do multiple trips. I'm gonna have to do multiple trips. Alright, come on. Is there like a gate on the side here? No, I have to go around the long way. Okay. That's fine. Guys, remember the Fulton recovery system? <laughs> oh, hang on. Yo. Okay, there are. Ah, uh, man, that means there's all those nine patches are scattered around. I can. I don't think I'm going to be able to do that, but that's fine. All right, you get in. I'm maybe I can have one more. All right, we can do three. We can have three. 
How many are in here? Another three. I'm glad I got to experience the rocket launcher. Um, before, uh, you know, blowing myself up. Another prisoner. Looks like he's alive. I've got a question to ask Chico when we rescue him, and that is, why the fuck did you plug the headphones into your chest, sir? Now we need to do this all in one go again, so we're going to drive, drop him off, <laughs> and then... <laughs> And then pick the others up. Oh, this is fucking hilarious. Squad! Alright, let's go. Oh, hang on. Can I shoot out of a car? No, I can't. Right, I'm gonna have to take this guy out. Because my prisoners aren't any good at it. Alright, hold on. Oh my god! Hang on, hang on! No! What the fuck? Can I... Restart the checkpoint? Fuck! <laughs> oh my god! Fucking hell! I didn't know that I just drove right into an explosive barrel. Holy shit. Alright. I'm gonna get these... I'm gonna get these prisoners to the extraction point. And we're going to get him out of here. But holy crap. My favorite thing about that was I thought it was going to like play out. As like the car would just sit there and be like, huh? Why were these prisoners just sat in the car? I wasn't expecting a fucking explosion that would murder them all. Alright, let's do this without murdering everyone. Let's take a nice subtle drive with the squad. How cool is it that we can drive vehicles, by the way? This is the, just the greatest thing. Um, okay. Don't drive into that. Yep, run over that dead body. That's good. And then go down here. Yep, that's good. Oh, sorry guys for the bumpy ride. I'm, I'm trying here. Oh, hang on. I might have... Hmm. We have... I've... Hmm. Yeah, I, fu I fucked it. Oh, actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yep, I've gotten us free. Now we're dangerously close to the edge, so just chill out, guys. Um, this is already just the, the greatest thing ever for me. Because, <laughs> like, something I really love about uh, Metal Gear Solid, uh, especially on console, is just the freedom of choice the freedom of choice and if this doesn't just encapsulate the freedom of choice I don't know what does um, now I'm gonna take you guys out because I gotta go pick up your other two friends the prisoner and Chico and then we can get the hell out of here alright lie down together all of you just kinda you can hang out Get to know each other a bit. You guys have been in cages for a while. Probably haven't had physical touch in that long. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to take the car back up. So I'll be a little longer, but I'm going to get my other guys, okay? I will be back. Alright, Chico. We're here. We're here, buddy. What the fuck? Oh wow. What 
What the fuck? Dude, he had to choke him out. What the hell? Wow. Dude, he reacted in such terror. Wow, though. Uh, that was not what I was expecting in terms of uh, a reaction to being rescued. That's right, Chico. I got you and your friends out. We're all chilling. We're all waiting for the chopper. There they all are. Alright, let's do it, boys. Let's call it in, baby. Okay, I cleared out most of the enemies, so we should be good. We'll just wait for that chopper to come in real time. You're all doing so well. Morpho, my man. Alright, just jumping in quickly, uh, in between, waiting for those people to get picked up, is you can rescue Chico first, um, and it'll play out, uh, it'll play out differently. So the plan at the moment is to essentially rescue Chico now, uh, instead of, instead of Paz first. And let that cutscene play out because we have missed out <laughs> otherwise. So we need to get as many cutscenes and dialogue and anything as possible. Um, so let me pull this boy out. I've marked the RV on your map. Okay, now carry Chico there. And I've called in the chopper. So let's go. Chopper request. It's headed your way now. Whoa, what? There we go. Oh, this dude. Hello, sir. You're asleep now. Never mind. Because we're supposed to rescue Chico first, because we like told to, but we were like, nah, we're gonna explore everywhere else first, and then accidentally rescued Paz. <laughs> um, we're going to actually do it the way that we're supposed to. Once you don't end up head first in the ocean. It's gonna be hot because there's enemies nearby. This is Oracle, arriving shortly at LZ. <laughs> the RV's just a little further. Oh, he thinks Paz is dead. On station at LZ. Great, you reach the RV. Put the target down for a minute. How's he doing? Chico, where is Paz? Oh, he's listening to the, the torture tapes. She's dead. When was this recorded? She's dead. There you go. Ah, so this this is how you can get Chico's tape during the mission. Okay. Let's load him up. If you want to continue the mission, Chico's tape. Think it could give us a clue to Pasta's location. Use your eye droid to listen to it. Ah, okay. 
came. This wasn't here last time. We used this truck to get driven in that gate, like the tape said. Kind of want to use this SMG, but at the same time, I'm like, then it gets rid of my tranquilizing ability. Looks like it's silenced, though, which is nice. There's our flag. The helipad. That matches Chico's tape. It's very interesting how the mission can play out completely differently. Um, at least with like dialogue and events and stuff like this truck wasn't here before to like navigate. Rescuing Chico first definitely seems like the the better option. Because you get to have all this cool stuff happen. Rest in peace, buddy. <laughs> Shit. Someone will see that dude at some point. Slowly drives us in. You can now either interrogate him, knock him out, or kill him. His life is in your hands. He's out of here. Rescue and pass time. Really should probably turn this light off here. Eh? It's probably going to be the main thing that gives me away is the light. How did that dude not notice his friend literally just dropped down and died? <laughs> Uh. Good night, guys. Okay. Isn't there a third one in here? Maybe not. Maybe it's different. Alright. Let's just see if something different happens with Puss. I don't think so. Might just be the order in which we rescue them. Pass. Pass. There she is. Boss, get Pass onto the helicopter. So, call the chopper. Back to the same spot. Roger, dispatching chopper. CP, this is Delta 9. Heads up. Delta 9, what's wrong? Come in, Delta 9. He's got nothing to say. He didn't find any bodies. Nothing. I'm 
This is Morpho, arriving shortly at LZ. What's going on? Put pause in the truck. In the truck. CP, this is Delta Six. Clear fire! There's no sign of the enemy! Over. Pull in the chopper. Launcher that chopper request. It's headed your way now. Find them! Out! I'm gonna wait for that chopper to come in a little bit. So we've got some time. Gonna give it some time to come in. So we're gonna get seen like immediately from this vehicle. The vehicle is unmanned. There you go. The vehicle was unmanned. Oh, so we're getting out of here. Big boy. Yeah, you are, baby. Just as planned. Please don't get blown. No, pass. <laughs> Dead! <laughs> oh, yep, that's fine. Um, shit. Imagine if I. Oh, imagine if I could go under there. No! I trapped my exit! I trapped my. I trapped my exit. I'm such an idiot. Get back in the truck. Oh god. <laughs> I've glitched the game! I couldn't even get in the truck! <laughs> I couldn't even get in the truck, holy fuck. Boss, what happened? Boss! Oh. I missed him just. I like just missed him because of the fucking it hit the pole. It's so funny. But I managed to cease the alert quickly. <laughs> we saved it. Load him up. This is Morpho, on station at LZ. Yeah, boy. This is Morpho. There's an obstruction at the LZ preventing me from landing. Request immediate removal. All right, hold on. Hold on. We good now? <laughs> we good now? Can you land? Thank you. <laughs> it's the fucking vehicle. Heroic music. All right, let's get him on. Get him on, baby. Okay, target is in. Man, remember Fulton recovery, guys? <laughs> this is the slowest prisoner extraction yet. Oh. Sorry. Get inside. Everyone, baby. Everyone comes home. Everyone comes home. Alright, Chico. Let's leave. We're going to, baby. When I almost left with fucking... without Chico. <laughs> That took him a long time to realize pass was missing, dude. We did that. We did all of that fucking around. <laughs> Alright, Chico sat in there. Nice. So cool. So cool. 
Just a couple of kills. Just a couple of kills. I'm sorry. <laughs> it did take us did take us down a bit. Um, that's so cool. I love that so much. 88 mins. Just a casual 88 mins in the first mission. Enemy combat alerts. Apparently zero. Interesting. 21k for the six prisoners rescued, which is pretty much where all of that, all of that score came from. <laughs> casual, casual long loading screen. That's all. But dude, that was what an incredible, what an incredible start. Oh, it's so cool. So cool. Exit results. Let's move on. Mission complete. A blocked scene, huh? Snake. Ooh. Snake. Medic. You didn't notice the blood there before Snake, where she was talking about her stomach. V for victory. Damn it, we were set up. We gotta get it out. No time for anesthetic. We have to open her now. Hey. Hold her down. Hold her down. Oh fuck. Ooh, they're gonna really just give that one to us. Ooh, I hate medical shit, man, so this is gonna be great. Ugh. <laughs> Chico's got a better stomach than me, apparently. Yay. What the fuck? Imagine having, imagine having that shit in your guts, and the hands in your guts. Ugh. What's up, Huey? Our guests are right on time. Document destruction and hangar decontamination are complete. AFVs have been stowed away, and Zeke's on the seafloor along with a nuke. Wow. The guided tour will be wrapped up by the time you get home. Make me proud. By the time they leave, I'll have the IAEA praising us as the poster boys for world peace. Out. Metal Gear Zeke on the sea floor, man. That's such a cool thing. Ugh, v, the v for victory and the Peace Walker symbol on the thing. Oh, disgusting. What a scene. What a goddamn scene. What the fuck? Is this mother base? What the hell? Oh, 
What the fuck? Oh, it's the Zoff guys, dude. Because Chico talked, right? Is that right? Holy fuck, man. Oh, snake. Nice job. Oh, fuck. Uh, okay. Nice job, Snake. It's Miller! Dude! It's Miller, the guy who we don't know if he's really on our side or not. No! The game's gonna start with the destruction of Mother Base? Holy fuck! All of that work we put in in Peace Walker, dude. All of that grinding. Only for it to go down in a cinematic. Jonathan, no! Jonathan from Portable Ops, no! Oh. Fuck. So much for that nuclear inspection. That went fucking cruisy. Dude, what the fuck? Everything? Where the f where's Huey? Huey was the only one left out of the big boys there, because Strange Love left. I heard explosions. Then they played us like a damn fiddle. Give it back. This isn't right. That was ours. We built it, damn it! That was the XOF. Spying bitch! Come on, start talking, bitch! Come on, get up and start talking! <laughs> Ugh. Holy fuck, man. This is fucked up after watching Peace Walker. Like, all of that, all of the briefing files, all of this. Oh my god. Oh fuck, dude. Oh my fucking god. Dude, this is fucking powerful. After Peace Walker. Because we took in everything. Smoke from the disaster was visible from the coastline. The media blamed money-minded private militias and scandal followed when the US was fingered as one of the organization's top clients. In response, the Secretary of Defense publicly stated that neither the United States had any liability. Re reports also suggested the IE uh, IAEA inspectors visited the site. However, the UN and the IAEA insist that no such inspection took place. Other countries among the... Fuck. Casualty figure is uncertain. There are no known survivors. However, in the moments prior to and following the incident, several unidentified military hop helicopters were sighted in the area. Because the, the, they had the same helmets as the XOF people. So XOF were posing You're as the IAEA. Nicola Bart. Immigrants wrongly executed. 
but their deaths served as a message to others. That ours is a society that murders the innocent. Do you too believe your sacrifice will change the world? Dude. That whole fucking... Sorry, what? Sorry, what? Credits? Excuse me? What? <laughs> Are we gonna get credits after every mission? I'm sorry, what? Um... Huh? I'm, I'm so confused right now, hold on. Um... Dude! We took in every, pretty much everything we possibly could in Peace Walker. All the briefing files, so much dialogue, so much lore, all of that stuff, all of that characterization, reading Paz's diary, like, everything. Seeing those characters fully realized in 3D on a console Metal Gear Solid game, all talking to each other, was just like... Dude, I've, all, I've just been looking at images of your faces for so long. It is so good to see you animated. Oh my god. They went through all of that, pulling that thing out of fucking Paz. And there was another one, and she knew it too. Uh, Paz lived from Peace Walker only to die in the, in the first mission of Ground Zeroes. Holy shit, man. And Paz's explosion then fucking makes their helicopter crash and then crash into another helicopter, fade to white. Oh my god. That was absolutely, that was absolutely insane. Well, we made a mistake. We made a mistake rescuing Paz, that's for sure. We should have definitely just rescued Chico and maybe the other guys. All of those prisoners of war that we rescued are now dead. What was better for them, guys? To be prisoners in that camp or to just take them to their death? <laughs> Fuck. This isn't credits for, like... This isn't it, is it? Like, I understand that Ground Zeroes is a prologue to the Phantom Pain... But that wasn't it, was it? Wasn't, like, Ground Zero's kind of... a game? Didn't it have stuff? This wasn't it, was it? The copyrighted music is now ending. So I can now... take the music back. Um, I'm confused. Motion capture for Kojima. And he was like, oh, I need Keith Sutherland to do it. I mean, I gotta be honest with you, there was not much motion capture that I saw there that really warranted a replacement of David Hayter. But who, who, who cares what I think? I'm not a games developer. If this was it and the credits are rolling, I would like to say that this was an absolutely incredible, uh, absolutely incredible two hours to sit down and play this. But if it's only two hours, this, this originally got sold as a full game though, didn't it? Like, 2013... When did Ground Zeroes come out? 2013, because it came out the launch of that generation of consoles. And then Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain came out in 2015? Right. So Ground Zeroes comes out. Ground Zeroes comes out. I'm just looking it up now. 
No, Ground Zeroes came out in 2014. Okay, so Ground Zeroes comes out in March of 2014, and then Phantom Pain comes out September of 2015. So, like, you know, that's... That's a, a year and a half later. Imagine, like, being like, Holy shit, Metal Gear Solid Five, And you jump in. <laughs> and that's that. Maybe what that means is the person who's leaving the comment about Chico's tapes is I actually have to find all of Chico's tapes in that mission. Same with the XOF patches. So uh, I guess I could still um, I could still grab those and then we can listen to, to Chico's tapes as like a bonus thing as well as Puzz's spy log because that's also a thing that's on the on the menu. In the in the chopper, so there's uh, there's still some, some things, there's still some things to get, um, but wow, um, I it's it actually looks like that this was um, <laughs> this was Ground Zeroes. So the credits are rolling already. Cliffhanger ending of everyone dead in a helicopter. Jesus Christ. Um, holy shit, man. Uh, we're going to let the credits roll and then see what happens when we, uh, when we get to the end of it. Damn. <laughs> Cypher's been in hiding ever since his grand experiment. No one's seen him in years. All we hear are orders delivered by proxy. Except you. You met with him, face to face, in order to contact Big Boss. Tell me where he is. Where is Cypher? Where is Zero? I've never known choice. Where I was born, the language I speak. I've never had the freedom to choose for myself. But you, right now, are free. Do as you will. This will save Big Boss. It may. Will you really kill Zero for me? Not for you. Zero is... Dude... 1975... 1976, the Leon Font uh, Taribs project is abandoned. Dr. Huey Emmerich's first child was born. He is named Hal, 1980. Damn. Damn, the President of the United States publicly pledges to close detention facility at Guantanamo Bay, which I'm pretty sure is still open. To be continued in the Phantom Pain. Bruh, oh my God. That was the end. You got the the roll. I think that was uh, well, that must have been Skullface talking to Puzz to give up Zero's location to kill him. Are we gonna see Zero again, or Cipher? Should I say? If we see the MGS three crew in any capacity like that, I'll lose my fucking mind. That'd be so cool. Like Zero. And paramedic can die on me, damn it. He be dropping. It's a big now. Clear. No response. Hit him again. Clear. Deceived and left for dead.
Are we getting a glimpse at the Phantom Pain right now? Should I stop watching? Oh my fucking god. You've been in a coma for quite some time. Should I stop watching? Yes, yes, I know. You would like to know how long. I'm afraid it's been... No! Nine years. What the fuck? What the fuck? I can't... I can't... What the fuck? I can't stop it. We're watching it. Oh man, he... <laughs> the phantom pain. Because of his arm. What the fuck? Whoa! Whoa! Does this classify as the first Metal Gear Solid trailer that I've watched? I think that classifies as the first Metal Gear Solid trailer that I've watched, because I haven't watched one yet. That's kind of a teaser trailer for Phantom Pain. Snake lost his fucking arm, dude! And that's why it's called the Phantom Pain. Phantom Limb, dude. And he looks all fucked. Oh my god. Nine years, so it's gonna be 1984. Holy shit. We're going into the 80s. So only Ground Zeroes picks up right after. And then the Phantom Pain is nine years later. So Hal has already been... That's why... So Hal's been born. Hal is four. Dude, that means Huey got away. Obviously he did. That's not my surprise. Like, the surprise is Huey got away from... From the destruction of Mother Base somehow. He was not in that helicopter. So I don't know how the hell he, he got out of there. That's interesting. And Huey had his kid, Hal, in 1980. That's wild. Nine years. He's been, in, like, so Snake gets put in a fucking coma for nine years. Oh, my God. My hopes, man, my hopes and dreams are that we start seeing some... We start getting characters from older games in this... Bridging that gap. That would be insane. Um, we also have just a lot. Oh, hang on. There's seven of Chico's tapes. Obtain Chico's tapes three of seven. So there you go. Ah, uh, there are side ops. Eliminate the renegade threat. Intel operative rescue. Classified intel acquisition. Destroy the anti-air emplacements. Two patches. Okay, so like there's still stuff to do in Ground Zero. So it has unlocked some side op missions, and we can still collect tapes for Chico um, and listen to Puzzle's spy files. So that means we can still continue with some Ground Zero stuff. This was just an amazingly, hugely long introductory episode. Uh, to the prologue of Metal Gear Solid 5, and then we can clear up some loose ends um, as well. So it, the loading, it does take its time. Definitely takes its time to load, that's for sure. I like that Ground Zeroes is kind of like a little bit like of a, of a sandbox of just like, here you go, guys. Holy shit. Like, here you go, guys. Um, enjoy. Um, have fun. Dude, Snake is fucked up. Completion ratio, uh, 8%. God damn. Um, play records, trial records, backstory. What was the backstory? This is the back, this will just be the backstory to Peace Walker, right? I'm assuming it'll be the backstory to Peace Walker. Yeah. So this is the backstory. Cool artwork in like HD, crisp HD. Um, yeah, okay, we've we've we know we've we've listened to an immense amount of briefing files and information to know what this is all about. Good old Huey. Is there anything that leads up to ground zeros?
Yeah, this is information that we've already got. Okay. Yeah, nice. And then it leads into Ground Zeroes. On the eve of the nuclear inspection, Snake made the decision to leave for Cuba. Fuck, it was all like a setup for those XOF boys to just like go in there and fuck up the base. Insane. Um, cassette tapes. So we've now got Chico's tapes, which there's seven. So we're not going to listen to those um, yet. But what we're going to do, what we're going to do is um, have a look at our mission select. So there's like side ops, mother base intel agent, undercover agent. So there's stuff to do elsewhere, which is cool. So we've got more missions, we've got tapes that we can collect um, and run through that before we look into, into Metal Gear Solid 5, the Phantom Pain. Um, so I will end this one here, I think, because this is like the main Ground Zero's experience where we just went from start to finish, like checked it all out and got given all of that incredible set piece and information and amazing. As I'm actually like, I'm mind blown with how beautiful it is. It's just crazy how short it is. But there, I mean, there's still stuff to do. It's just incredibly short, which is very surprising. And um, yeah. The voice change from David Hayter to Keith Sutherland is an interesting one as well. But guys, thank you so much for watching the first episode of Ground Zeroes. This was so much fucking fun. Next episode of Ground Zeroes, uh, later in the week, we will complete um, the loose ends here. So we'll do like the side ops and listen to uh, the spy log and find Chico's tapes. We'll see what else we can, we can do or mess around with uh, to make a nice uh, little episode there. Uh, before we then move into Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain, nine years later. Thank you so much for watching this episode, guys, and I will see you next time.